If you believe in God, believe also in me. I believe this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. I believe in that name more than anything else that I can even think of today. I believe in the name of Jesus. Amen. I believe it has power. I believe it has blessing. Yes. I believe it has grace. I believe it gives us faith. I believe it gets us up when we're down. I believe it keeps us standing when the devil tries to knock us down. I believe it gets us on the right road when we're on the wrong. I believe this morning that name of Jesus is one that needs to be praised and shout hallelujah to every breath that we breathe ought to be breathed in the name of Jesus Christ. We ought to be lifted up by His presence. We ought to be shouting in His glory. We shall look towards heaven and never look down towards uh, the, the earth because this is temporary. It's temporal. It will soon pass away. But oh, thank God, He said, in my Father's house there are many mansions. I oh, thank God this morning somewhere up there on Main Street or on some street of gold, I've got a mansion. You may come to my house and you may look at it. I may begin to talk to you about my mansion. You might look around and say, where is it? Well, praise the Lord, I'm telling you, it's not in Maysville. My mansion is not in that house that I live in. You might live in a bigger one than I do. You might have one that's got 45 rooms and it's got crystal chandeliers and it's got all the pretty things that you ever saw. But boys, I'm going to tell you one of these days when Jesus calls and the death angel comes and he removes you from that place, you better have a place waiting on you that makes that one look like a shack. Because I want you to know there's nothing this morning. Even drunk towers cannot compare with the, the mansion that I've got waiting on me. And because it was given to me by a man who makes promises, but by a man who never breaks promises. Do you know what I'm saying this morning? He makes promises, but he never breaks promises. You turn on the television today, and every time you hear, there's a promise. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. I'm going to create this. I'm going to create that. Brother, without the name of Jesus intervening to us, we will do nothing. We will not be able to stand back and take any praise because every good and perfect gift comes down from the Father of life. So if you're looking for a good and for a perfect gift today, it's not going to come from Washington, D.C. It's not going to come from the Pentagon. But praise the Lord, it's going to come from the throne of the Lord. Almighty God, which is sitting on the throne of heaven, and he said that I want to tell you something this morning in that song that brings a saying, I love you, I love you. There's not a person in here this morning that God doesn't love. You're not walking through any kind of a mess that God not already knows what it's all about. He was there on the head of it. He knew that it was going to happen, and thank God he gave you the grace and the strength to walk with your head held high and your heart in the right place uh, and going on smiling through your tears uh, and letting the world out there know that the devil can pile it on. Uh, but praise God, uh, the Lord's going to get you out of it and He's going to take it off because He is God this morning. Uh, he hasn't changed. Uh, but I know this morning that sometimes we feel like that we might be kin to a fellow that, that I'll talk about for a moment. We feel like that maybe somewhere along our line that we might have been kin to a man called Job. Because it seemed like that when things happen to good people, and we say, well, why did that happen to them? Folks, listen this morning. Then what I read to you. Think not as strange when <coughs> things happen and bad things happen. Think not as strange when you're tried in the furnace of fire. Think not as strange when you're tested as fine gold in the furnace. You know, before gold is so pretty, some of you might be wearing gold rings this morning. Some of you might have on gold necklaces. I don't know. But I say a lot of folks in here this morning, somewhere you've got a piece of gold on. I believe there's a little gold in this watch, man. I believe there's a tiny little bit of gold in this little ring that I've got on. But I want you to know this morning, it might be 24 karat, what they call pure gold. But those three times we're going to walk on today are far beyond uh, 24 karat. They're far beyond what little gold this ring's got in it this morning. But sometimes down here, we don't walk on streets of pure gold. We don't walk on streets that are 
shiny. We don't walk through life that is always uh, blessing and always good out, out there in the world. But I want you to know, but trust in the name of the Lord, we'll know what our blessing is, we know where it's coming from, and we know that it'll never be taken from us as long as we trust in the name of Jesus. Now before gold can become as pure as they can get it, they have to take it and put it in a small a smeltering pot. And it has to reach temperatures that would pull, would burn you, even get it close to it. 